ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel this is a brief video to talk about how to prepare for the nursing program and specifically the pre-nursing sequence or pre-nursing requirements so regardless of whether or not you're trying to get into a baccalaureate nursing degree program or an associate degree nursing program there are some things that are similar and one main component of almost all pre-nursing sequence are the courses in biology, particularly anatomy and physiology. Now, anatomy and physiology, or a &P courses as we call them, they fill up fast. Enrollment is high. And enrollment is high for a reason, because anatomy and physiology is a, is a course that is a requirement for a lot of courses, pre-med, uh, pre pre-nursing, massage therapy, um, any of the health sciences, it's a required courses. If you're going into a profession that's going to care for human beings, you have to understand um, the human body and how it works. Now, students do their research, they try to find the cool or easy AMP professor. Let me explain something to you from an education standpoint. We're not impressed with A's. Um, high grades are important, don't get me wrong, but I would rather have a student who had a strong B or a solid B plus and that student knows what to do with those facts, knows not just how each organ works, but how they work together, how to identify uh, abnormal, um, know when to intervene. So I'd rather have a student who has um, earned a strong B or a solid B plus rather than an easy A. Okay. It says RN. It doesn't say RN A or RN B plus. It says RN, and that's your goal. So I encourage you to approach your anatomy and physiology course, not just as a course that you have to get a solid grade to get into a nursing program, but just remember that how you approach that course, what you do in that course is helping you to build a foundation, that foundation you're going to need as you progress through a nursing program once you get accepted and beyond. Second part that I want students to think about, and is it's often missed, when you graduate a college or a school, the nursing portion is just that. It is a portion of the requirements. It is often your college that gives, it is your college that gives you the degree, and there are other courses that you have to satisfy. Um, another thing that helps you with that foundation or what educators call general education courses. These courses abroad in the sciences, in the humanities, language, they make you a stronger person. They give you components and knowledge with which you can critically think. You can analyze a situation and that's exactly what you're going to be asked to do in the nursing profession. So be open, uh, try new things, learn a new language, Remember that language you learned in high school, conjugating verbs? Please revisit that. It's important. Um, it builds a better, stronger person. Um, one last thing in this short video I'd like to talk to you about is if you happen to work, please take some time to analyze how work currently has affected your school. If it has affected your pre-nursing, it's going to affect your nursing, uh, nursing program. I never tell a student to quit their job. You can't live with me. I can help you understand how work, your social life, and nursing school must be analyzed and must be understood in order for you to do well. So again, better focus on your anatomy and physiology course. Please pay some attention to the general, general education course or gen ed. It makes you a better person. It gives you content for you to analyze the situation, make better decisions. And lastly, analyze your work, social relationships, commitments, and how they're going to affect your nursing program. I will do a follow-up video to talk about some of the specifics, but I just really wanted to do a quick video on this, video on this rather, and I hope it helps. Um, if you feel it's something that's important, make a comment um, in the box below. Perhaps some another viewer may give an insight into something that I did not cover. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay. Please have a good day.